Hi everyone, here's the Predator. Uh, hope you're all good. Uh, welcome to my first video in the 2022. We hope we start a bit better with uh, this year, as we had a bit of downswing, a bit of prolonged downswing in the last uh, couple of uh, months of the last year. So let's see how it's going. So without any further, let's jump into the action. It's weekend and we hope we get a little bit of action, even if it's it's the pool are not the greatest right now but let's see what we got here so table one we have different approaches, uh, we can block bet, check or bet big. On these boards I usually prefer to check or bet big, but given that their people are not bluffing enough, we're gonna take a bit more exploded approach and with a king of diamonds especially, we're gonna see bet small. On these boards, uh, three bet boards, big black and rose BB versus small blind, we are gonna uh, have a decent amount of checks, not only with this hand. So we're gonna check again and see what the river comes. Under turn, here we can usually all bet or check. So with this hand, particularly, we have an easy check call. We let him to his bluff. Uh, this is a terrible card in river. And here I think you can get a, exploit with a little bit of value with our hand. I don't expect him to check a, an ace there. Maybe he hit a, a queen on the river. Uh, this is a very interesting card here. Hmm. All of his bluffs more or less cut there. Of course a blocking 10. Uh, hopefully he would value a teen, which he should actually. A lot of time of queen. 6 9 to pairs. Nice hand, my friend. Let's put it in a replayer here. Okay, so we three betting this. We have a call color here. So three way. I could call any suited ace, any pair. Uh, against the two, uh, we want some protection, but we won't get. We don't want to inflate a pot. We have a decent amount of checks. Table three. We're gonna check this time. We're gonna check this one and see what's what's developing on the turn and what they're doing so we're gonna check again plus three and we of course gonna call I think about raising I will race sometime but against this big three bet we're just gonna call and let him bluff maybe with the missed draw. And here we I think hmm not sure what it hmm, we we'll call this time, I'm not sure what his bluff, but yeah, just throwing the mare. And against this size, of course, we have to call King Queen. Unbelievable. King Queen off. Okay, let's get you the right tag. Of course, this is not the uh, combo wise, I mean, strength wise, in a vacuum from a recreation for a player. This is just a fine hand call. And in a vacuum, also, it's not that bad, but we all know it's, it's a terrible call. Preflop uh, with his hand, offset hand, 
we are gonna mix here forward and fold and here we're gonna call also mixing trivets and uh, trivets and calling uh, we're gonna check race this time let's see yeah we're gonna save it oh actually this is too loose as versus cut of is way too loose uh he could have some other hands so we can overbet here and he could have a lot of draws which he's not gonna fold not blocking any of the flush uh we're gonna check here here we're gonna call and here on the river i think mm -hmm. we have an easy check call i assume and on the river would you check a jack or anything else he got tens got there but anything like other than this not sure let's try to find out okay yeah like i said very unfortunate tens got there he could have I don't think we need to block some of them. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not the best card in the deck. Even if, it was, even if, if it was a spade, but ten, uh, I got a bad feeling about that. Okay, you're gonna save it. Yeah. Let's see what did Charlie had here. Yeah? Uh, which was which hand was this? Where the heck is the hand? Here, five seven. Okay. Okay. Five seven cut off. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Open raise. Mm. I think about the strategy, so okay, he could have it's a cut of yes, he could also have all kind of low suited connected cards. Let's make a little bit of a uh, comma wise of maybe a little bit of over overplay uh, on the turn because we no longer could have the nuts only he could also have almost all of the combos mm, depending on how loose he's opening perceiving me or the blinds and here what the heck is he going here i mean <laughs> did i have it i don't have it after the stats he's definitely a whale um, I'm gonna call him. So I'm not sure what the fact this means, but when he calls, this tweaks all that. I mean, it's even if he has a bluff, uh, it's very he has a very high equity bluff. So like, when he would never call, I would have folded. it, I assume, most of the time. Yeah, hmm. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Yeah, we would have got there. You see what what these pots brings? I mean, it's a very. I don't. I don't understand what this ties on the on the river. So we should. He should mostly bet. Mm, over bet or check, but I think we're gonna fall this this time. I'm gonna call him. I mean, this is definitely. Very bad, lose, very loose call pre flop and calling multi way on open end on the flush uh, board uh, with his hand two weeks over that multi way. This is as bad as it gets, so that's what I wanted you to, uh, to see and to 
is downloading. Okay, this is a short second. I wanted to say uh, the multi-way spots. It's uh, very they are very complicated. The multi-way spots. So um, what the heck is he betting here? I'm not sure. He's with a bluffing check, bet check bet here on this line. We're gonna fold this one. Um, so a lot of the time a multi-way spot when you know how to play it you might lose V against the weak players because they are not knowing how to play it and they are overplaying their hands on the flop or and on any street so they are not knowing uh, exactly what they are supposed to call multi-way they are just seeing their hand in a vacuum uh, okay and we're gonna trigger this uh, so that's why they are over calling and calling to lose on the on that board so a lot of the time in, in a spot like this you're gonna have to make crying fall decisions and you see I I almost I saw that I almost must have uh, the best hand here against the two but <sighs> I played the hand perfectly against these lines from these two. He could cut he could have had both of them, all the heads, all the very strong hands. So against the two, getting it in, especially him being deep, uh, would have been a mistake. That's why I said I, I don't I don't see my, myself calling here a two weeks over bet from this player and he, an overcall here. So uh, in this spot I have just one decision get it in or fall. So Yes, sometimes, like you see, uh, I might have, have had the best hand and even against their draws or overplayed hands, I would have won. But there's not always the case, so uh, a large percentage of the time, they at least one of them are having a, a very strong hand. So against that range, uh, their ranges, uh, I'm most of the time dead or drawing very thin. So that's why you have to make this um, this very um, yeah close decisions. Uh yeah okay we are gonna check folding here. We're gonna check here. This king jack off is a mix of three bet polar range from the big blind versus big, big mix of checking and I mean mix of calling and surveying on this board we are gonna most some of the time go big with this vector we gonna go for it and you call we're gonna check call here uh, on this Broadway board we don't Always bet, but some of the time we bet big, and of course, we have an easy over bet on the turn. Mm, he has a very bad card, he could have some other quick up draws, but I don't think we get getting get call here. Mm, let's think about it. Oh, this is a very bad card in the river, so pff, I'm not sure what we bet here. I think we get. I have to check fold, even it's very unfortunate here. Yeah. On this one against Charlie, I mean, everything the a swift diamonds not possible. I'm not sure what he could have, but I think we can we should we can jam this full value. Very unsport, unfortunate spot there. I mean, I'm not seeing any review this. But I don't see what he could possibly bluff on the river. Let's see what was the side. So a block bet. So even I mean, either he trapped with some full houses, or he got there, or I don't know exactly what he had. But I don't see too many bluffs. So against this, of course, we're gonna. Forward against this squeeze is a very aggressive uh, player. We, I hope we don't see a jam. Okay, that's good because 
of course I wouldn't have folded, but even a dressy player, he might overplay this hand or just trying to not drill really overplay, so just try to get it in with ace king with this position sometimes, but most of the time they're having uh, the goods. So with queens, I don't see the a player even as aggressive as he getting in there too much. So against this one, we, of course, we're gonna for against this squeeze, we're gonna forward. We're gonna check this one. We're gonna play exploited EV. Okay, then us get it in. Okay, queens, unfortunate for him. So let's hope. Okay, let's hope we get two from two. Mm, yes, of course, this is very nice. Uh, what I wanted to say is here on the turn, where is the hand? Yes, so against the uh, recreational here on this board with this hand, we have no equity, so it has a lot of broadways, ASICs, and suited connectors, pairs, all kind of stuff. So we have to bear this uh, and try trying to to make this seabed profitable so we are not gonna accomplish too much uh, with a small seabed here and barely here with our hand no equity against the weaker player I think this is not a plus EV decision we're gonna tribute and or call this hand he has a lot of hands here we're gonna we're not gonna see it range here, but with this hand we are sibiting once and try to fold his I mean to get him fold his auto fold hands and we are done with the hand when he's calling there. We have some barrel possibilities, even multi way. We can try to get them fold a large portion of their range and barrel a lot of spades, broadways, especially a jack uh, or a nine. So, here, multi way, same supply. We're gonna pot control uh, on a uh, Board, so we're gonna check again and get some value on the river hopefully with this card yeah I mean just a random jack and nine get there and the queen would definitely bet we calling when they're betting and we bet for value when they're checking so half pot is good I assume this one's ace high board we have a lot of checks and against the recreational we're gonna just get it in with these stacks sizes So turn strategy against a uh, check back. We are gonna all of it or check. This hands fits into check calling category, so we don't want to uh, all about this hand, and we want to make him uh, bluff. We could check raise sometimes, protect our hand. But mostly check calling is standard here. Yeah, he thought his seventh is worth value at on the, on the turn. Very interesting. Uh, I'm not all sure what this means. Against the player, this big bet. Hmm. We're gonna call once, let's see what he's doing on the river. I'm not thrilled about it, but we have the equity and he might be spacing around, I don't know exactly. And we got there. Against the boat. So against the boat. So let's see. Exploited of course we're gonna bet just enough to get a call at least. King win off against uh, UTG button versus each. it's a mix about 50% through betting uh, We're gonna see it even we are not supposed to 
see bit range but knowing they are not going to bluff too much we're gonna see bit and gonna go for a battle knowing he would call any sort of pair and flush draws blocking his best combo of as king as queen uh, we're gonna battle this and we have to fold here yes nice we got a folder So he is not blocking his draws, combo draws, I mean his flush draws or back to flush draws. And like I said, blocking his best combos of ace king ace queen. So he ace queen off he would mostly fold or forward. Ace king off he might have some time just as a call, not a forward. Ace uh, ace king suited it's a uh, hundred percent uh forward so he might or as jack as sense with it he also got a mix of calling and forwarding so the he doesn't have too much a6 a5 suited a4 again could be a mix of calling and reverting so it's a very good uh board and we have a very good combo to barrel this turn against this recreation we're gonna play it straightforward uh first take so we're gonna here we're gonna take our hmm. he's not gonna fold any ace of hearts or we're not gonna fold in too much wars we're gonna check this and see what developments really here we're gonna how go with half pot and hopefully he jams oh, or not and on the river uh not sure he not sure, not sure. He might have, of course, a pair, but I'm not sure if he's gonna fall on the river because I don't represent too much. Uh, da -da. I gonna check this time and mostly lose. Oh, or win three five. Okay. Uh, I wanted to say uh, I have some Shona value. He would call with king, some king queen backdoor, ace check backdoor. Um, yeah, something like this. So I have a very thin uh, margin of uh, of showdown values here, and I think we can get this our uh, this showdown value here in this pot. We are not supposed to bluff all our uh, combos of with heart, with a heart. So we're gonna see what this. Instar creation line. We're gonna see it and take and take value from his floats. Okay, we're gonna see with this. After he checks, I mean this is very strange he checks. And even we block all of his potential bluffs. I mean when he checks a uh, value hand so I want to get value from this and I want to just orbit this combo. And this pot even if it's very hard to get value from something worse but maybe maybe a j uh, just a jack or I know any pair but we can he check back uh, I might might call here and maybe also Naya. <laughs> nice and my friend, nice and so yeah. I mean, this is very difficult to to get the call with here, but we, we you'll be surprised. Uh, which strange lines, uh, some unknowns, uh, are gonna take. So we have to get value when we can, without without knowing uh, the player. So even if it's official or regular or w which kind of player he is, we're gonna 
um, just play straightforward pure GTO strategy. So in this part, uh, we mostly overbet. Uh, here we're gonna of course call it and block some of his bluffs here. I don't know exactly. Uh, this line is very strange. He could get this mass of um, queen, weak queen, or a total air. Uh, which for this side, we have to call it and we block his bluffs. But uh, all seven deuce off, my friend. <laughs> Let's get to the right deck here. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't expect that to be sh to be honest with you. Here we're gonna have a lot of checks. We can check this one. Be a little bit deceptive, and we're gonna check again. And we're gonna call this nice value, nice value, Charlie. <laughs> Very nice value. So I have, I have to say, didn't expect that. Of course, we could, we could have bluffed this all, all the way through. That was an, another alternative. So. You can bet, bet, and barrel, triple barrel, uh, even triple barrel jam this. So it's a very nice hand to go with. But this time I like it to play it slow and be a bit more deceptive. A, a little, uh, I mean, a low frequency, but against uh, a good regular, we have to be try to be balanced. So when he checks here. I think we take our Shona value and see what's developed, what's developing on the turn. Uh, with the uh, club, uh, with this pet, I don't know what he's representing, but we're gonna call. And hopefully he didn't get there with a spade. Uh, let him think about it. Could he get him to call a worse hand? Which he slow played on the on the flop or trying to pot control. Mm, not sure. I mean, exploited. I mean, GTO wise, we. I don't think we should bet this. I think about calling this as a, a betting this and an exploit. Let's try to. Uh, no, let's check it down. Let's see. Okay. He wouldn't have called anyway. There's a very bad, very, very thin value bet there on the river. Would be, would have been. Uh, that's why I'm not sure he would have called too much there. So either he got there, let's say, with a six. Let's play this again. He with a, I don't know which kind of six, and he checks to check call. Or he had a slow play before, like maybe eights or sevens. He wanted to check raise or. Which can, and whichever line he would thought about it, I don't know exactly. And with an overpair, of course, would have a bet maybe third core, uh, a quarter or or third here. Uh, I think most of the players would have called. But like I said, uh, most of the time they don't have this kind of hand, so he either he got there. With some kind of sort of hand, and or I was, uh, I was behind before the river, and he is gonna call this thin value bet on the river, or he has air and he is not gonna call with it. So yeah, I think this is the standard play. And here, a side board, uh, we're gonna usually size up or check. And 
we're gonna set up recent This king king queen of small versus uh, UTG. It's a mix. So I'm gonna fall this time. Mix of surveying and, call, uh, and falling, not calling. Um, we are gonna see what have bought. Miss got most of our ranges, even if you don't have a backdoor. Um, we want him to fold uh, his float as much as possible. So against a raise, this is very strange. Um, against half pot, he shouldn't have too much raises, even if they are some. But I guess he has some value. Jack stands good nine. Um, I don't see him having too many bluffs, and especially with without backdoor, so we can we can call here. Uh, so we're gonna fold. So against the three bet, so we are gonna mix four bet and calling. We're gonna call this time with this position. And check so strange. But still, we are gonna we're gonna check our bet half pot on this inside board. Even blocking a king, a king of diamonds. Um, we want to get value from his low X hands or other hands which might float. I mean, against this, we are a bit deep, uh, but with these hands, with this, against this big, very big 3-bet, 4-bet uh, size, we're gonna mix, check, uh, call and fold. Don't have too much stats on him. It's a very big, uh, very, very big 4-bet size, we're gonna fold this time. And here, we got to call sometimes but queen high board he it's not about the calling this time I mean on the on the flop I mean he I might call there sometimes but the problem is uh, let me review this where's the hand Where the fuck is the hand? I don't find it. I see the good rag, but I assume he have a, has a limp range from the small blind, which is always interesting. You don't see too many people having that range. Small blind limping range. I guess this very big. Through that we are gonna fold and we are gonna check this one. Uh, yeah, we can call this. Uh, what I wanted to say here is Yeah, this is the hand. So with the sevens it's a very aggressive rack, so I have to think not only on this um on this flop spot which we might call sometimes we mix calling and folding there but the problem is even uh i mean gto as well as exploitative he's gonna bear a lot of turns so we don't get too many free cards and uh we don't get um enough equity and we don't see too many uh, free rivers so against his strategy with barreling almost any card on the turn uh, I just better fold straight away and not 
uh, not calling the flop and folding the turn because I'm gonna lose if in the long run. So here I'm just blocking his check. I'm just gonna block bet and see what he does. Getting him to fall his king high ace high floats there. Uh, here we're gonna check. Yes, again to this part. So thinking on the turn on the turn strategy uh, that we have to fold almost every turn. Uh, we are just better getting. Uh, read of the hand just on the flop. So we're gonna bet exploit it like pot here. Hope to get call from a jack, random jack or two pairs. No? Okay. Unfortunate. Uh threes is mostly fold. There are different strategies on this monitor board, so I could bet range very small, quarter or even smaller, uh, to to fall his air. Uh, but uh, I don't know exactly which kind of player he is. So um, some players are gonna play pretty aggressive against this uh, bet range strategy on monitor board. So we have shown that you would don't want to inflate the pot or not knowing what we can do with this hand. So we. Uh, a uh, good portion of the time, very good, so we want to pot control with his hand, so on the river he should definitely bet uh, an ace uh, or better, so I don't see how we can be good here on this spot. Okay, so we're gonna sit out the next big blind. Checking here uh, makes a lot of sense. If he has a lot of showdown value, so this means a pair or a better ace. So we are not gonna fold too much here un unless we are willing to bet very big. Uh, to go through on the river, so with this hand doesn't make too much sense. I'm in the middle, so I have a bit of showdown value, but not too much. And on the river, so usually this is a too good of a hand to bluff it, if he, even if he has a lot of better ice highs. So betting on the river here for him makes a lot of sense to get the value. Yeah. With this size, I especially I take him as a that I take him as a tighter player, so I don't think he would bluff this size on the river. So it, this is definitely a value. Maybe even if you with a better ace. So yeah, if, even against this price, we're gonna fold. Oh, it seems we're not getting to the big blind there anymore. <laughs> yes, here we go. So thanks a lot for joining me uh, in this first video of the year. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next video.